Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we are going to harvest some things because I think it's time for the garlic to come out of the ground. <laughs> So guys, before we start getting up and getting all the vegetables that need to come out, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that has joined our channel. We have so many new subscribers and I want to say really big thank you to those that joined our seed swap. All the seeds are out and you guys should be getting them in the mail anytime soon. So I'm really excited to uh, hopefully that you guys can grow some amazing things in your garden. But I want to say a special thanks to the following. Okay guys, so we have some stuff that is needing to come out of the garden and then also some stuff that's like dying back because I did not water when I was supposed to water. <laughs> so we have some losses and yeah, we're just going to kind of go through. I'm going to show you kind of what's going wrong and yeah, we'll harvest some things at the same time. Alright guys, so I wasn't 100% sure that my garlic was done. But now I am 100% sure because it looks pretty dead. So I'm going to dig it up and let's see what we get. So look at this, guys. We got the tiniest little garlic bulbs ever. But I turned just one bulb of garlic into four. Actually, not even like one full bulb, just four little pieces of one bulb of garlic into four pieces of garlic. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to let it sit out in the sun and see what happens but not bad not bad to have never grown garlic successfully before so yeah all i got were these four things of garlic which i'm letting sit outside this is actually the next day from when i picked it i'm letting it sit outside and i'm going to turn these little four things of garlic into some garlic powder and one of the biggest lessons i think i can show you guys is that Sometimes it doesn't come out the way that you're expecting it to be. Would it have been nice if I got like four huge big bulbs of garlic and I could have been like, yeah, I got these big huge bulbs of garlic, like that's so great. Yeah, that would have been nice. But the reality is, is that I took four pieces of garlic that were going bad and I put them in the ground and they grew bigger than what they were. So I got more garlic than when I started. So I'm gonna count that as a win. So it may not have been the biggest harvest, but it is a harvest. All right, guys, so first I want to show you guys something bad is happening to my Armenian cucumber, which makes me want to cry because I need my Armenian cucumber to be nice and healthy. And that's not happening. So what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take this one out first that seems to be dying back. I'm going to take that one out and then I am going to instantly go in the house and restart my Armenian cucumber because there still is time for me to grow it because it'll last all summer, but I really need to, I don't know, I need to fix that. The, also, the same thing happened to the other part of my cucumber plant, the other one. So I had two of them in here, and one of them died. It could have been the watering, it could have been, I don't know, things spraying that they've been spraying in our neighborhood. I don't know what it is. Everything else seems to look good, but yeah, that is very disappointing, but it's okay. It's all going to be okay. Now, we're going to go through and take some of these banana peppers off, and then since this one has sun skull, I'm going to take that off and just cut off the sun skull, and then we can use the rest of that pepper, but we need to get these peppers off. Alright guys, so that's a pretty nice banana pepper harvest, especially because it was all just kind of like bonus, because I was thinking that that plant was going to go dormant for after its last like fruiting and it did not it just continued to live its best life so it's kind of like bonus peppers at this point now I am so sad about my Armenian cucumbers because all of this was my fault <laughs> now I ran out of my normal high creations fertilizer that I've been using and I had a little bit of another fertilizer I had tested out on my channel if you guys are, I won't say the name, but there's a video buried down in there. And I didn't dilute it enough. 
I forgot that it was really strong and that's why I don't use it normally right now and I didn't dilute it enough. And when I did it the first time, when I switched over from that fertilizer, I, which it's organic fertilizer, it's just, I don't know why, it's just really strong, but it killed one of my tomato plants. And so I stopped using it and I was fertilizing the garden. I forgot to order my high, the rest of my high creation and I just was like, oh, I'll just use the rest of this. And I used it on those cucumber plants and I think that's what killed them. <laughs> so this would, could have been prevent, prevented and this is one of the reasons why I don't use a lot of fertilizers in my garden. High Creations has been one that I've been using, but I still use it very, very sparingly. And so far I haven't had a problem with it, but all of the other fertilizers and different things like that and just different things, I just don't use in my garden. I stick with my worm bin and I collect my worm castings and that has worked for me. Does it grow just a moderate amount of vegetables to where we have vegetables to eat? Yes, 100%. Does it grow like in abundance and like I get like 85, you know, fruits per plant? No, because I'm not over fertilizing it or giving it a strong fertilizer, but it does keep my garden healthy. So I'm going to continue to deeply water that area to try and flush that fertilizer out. And I might even remove a little bit of the soil on the top maybe and try and flush some of that out. But I'm just gonna have to replant and hope for the best. Because as you guys know, I need my Armenian cucumber to provide me shade for this part of my garden. So what I'll do is I will just put some shade cloth over it. Um, just go really old school, put the shade cloth on the top right there so that it's protecting everything down below while the Armenian cucumber gets a chance to grow. But it's really sad because yeah, we're starting to hit triple digits. So that's disappointing. All right guys, the next thing I'm gonna come in and grab are all these tomatoes. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the green tomatoes too as well. Only off the ones though that are like these vines that are dead. So these further vines down here, they're dead. And I am going to make room for these new vines. So what that means is that I need to go ahead and get off all these dead vines and clean the plant up so that then the plant isn't throwing so much energy and to try and keep those tomatoes alive when I could be getting new ones off of all the new vines. Okay guys, so look at all those tomatoes. That is not a bad harvest at all. So I had someone comment on my channel um, earlier, had like on an earlier video that said, hey, why don't you just pick all those green tomatoes right now and just let them ripen up on the counter. And the reason why I didn't was because I had already so many green tomatoes that were ripening up on the counter from the first time that I pruned. And this time I wanted to allow them to get a little bit bigger too as well. So even as they're growing in their green, I wanted them to be like this size in green versus like a smaller size. So that's why I'm picking them now. And also we are gonna hit, I think it's 105 this weekend. So I wanna make sure that the plant gets nice and trimmed and is in a healthy state before those extreme temperatures come up. But I'm really, 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 really disappointed about my cucumber plant, my Armenian, because one, like, you know, my garden really depends on its ecosystem and really depends on how it is growing. So when I do something to harm that ecosystem, I'm very upset with myself. So, but it will be okay. We'll just replant, we live and we learn and we continue to go on. But I hope that this kind of is a lesson for you guys to not to over fertilize your garden and just to be patient with your garden. One of the reasons why fertilizers get stronger and stronger and stronger, even organic ones, because I would like to remind you guys that that was an organic fertilizer that, th that did that, but they get stronger and stronger because people got impatient and people wanted more and more and more. And when I look at the abundance that comes from my garden and I look at my freezer and how many like of these crazy amount of cherry tomatoes that we have in the freezer that we still haven't eaten there's no need for me to need an overabundance of anything so I don't need to stress out my ecosystem and destroy the beautiful things that I have created back here which is my garden of peace so I just wanted to remind you guys that sometimes it does take a little bit of patience but that patience is worth it so until next time grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. 
Bye, guys.